Congratulations on your brand new job at Goodman. You're part of an elite part of the population that qualifies for this job. Roughly 92% of everybody, including small children and some animals. Your first day might be a little tough. Customer relations and all sorts of other icky situations. We put together this training montage to help you figure out three key situations that you might run into on the job. Problem number one, the irate customer. Hello, this is Goodman Tech Support. Are literally the worst pieces of crap I've ever seen in my life. Well, my neighbor bought a train. I should have bought a train like my uh, neighbor. I wouldn't be in this, but, this predicament calling um, you idiots because I well, can't believe that these things are even legal but, to sell in the state of North Carolina. It's unbelievable. Um, so what's the fix for this horrible problem? Try the Goodman Customer Service Plastic Membrane to help separate you from those unwanted callers. Two times to come service the unit. These things are literally the worst pieces of crap I've ever seen in my life. My you seem to be breaking up. Like I wonder, I maybe you should hey, call Jerk back don't you, don't you at a different me, time. Man. To a different tech. Problem number two. The customer wants to know exactly why his system leaks. Why is my system leaking? It's only two years old, man. Yes, yeah. your unit's probably leaking because of the cheap Chinese copper used in the line set. Yes, your unit's probably leaking because the blower motor's not set on the correct speed by the contractor, thus causing unit leaks. Sure, you have to change refrigerant periodically to make sure it's still fresh. Great job! Now you sound like a real tech support guy. Remember, guys and gals, because Goodman doesn't really have actual dealers, there's no real qualifications. Meaning many times you'll have high school dropouts getting Goodman units and other untrained, uneducated people. Because of that, to get out of any situation, you can typically use long words, even when used improperly, joined together to confuse the dealer so that he won't be able to proceed in the conversation, thus letting you off the hook. Hey man, you don't get it. I've installed many of these things and they're all breaking down now. Yeah, I understand you're having a lot of problems with leaking HVAC systems that are made by Goodman. But did you properly tribulate the ramification flanges whenever you enumerated the different denominators that were involved in a succulent install? Well, I, I, don't, I don't really know if I did or not. Well, that might be your problem. And instead of calling up here, maybe you should check those things before you even get in touch with us. Oh, okay. Great job. You really ran circles around him. Another surefire method from dealing with different dealers that call in with issues, again, I say dealers, that call in with different issues, is to give them a fix that is complicated and vague so that they can go off to the supply house, become confused, come back, and by the time they call back, it won't be you again who answers the phone. It'll be another person, and they can just bat it on and on into infinity. Hey, man, so what do I do? Yeah, what I want you to do to solve this problem is to put a vibrating isolation unit called a shock isolator in. Uh, you should be able to find them at any of your local supply houses. So just install that, and you'll have no issues from here on out. Dude, you're a lifesaver. And now that you've completed your training, I look forward to working with each and every one of you for the one to one and a half years that a typical representative stays here. Goodman Manufacturing, we're the best! Claim cannot be validated.